Robinson. I ain't felt this. Scrooge McDuck. Elementary hood shit. Villains. You can't have a good cartoon without good villains. And I say, wow. If we're talking about Saturday morning cartoons and cereal, by all means, we gotta talk about villains. And I threw out a threw out an Instagram, what, now a week ago. Yeah, about a week ago. About a week ago. Yeah. About a week ago. And uh said I need a hip hop ones. And who answered the call? Like Batman himself. But Brooklyn's own Sight Buggy. Sight. Thanks, man. Sight is strong. Did you see that look at chair? I'm so strong. I'm weak. One or the other. Don't know. Anyway, so it's random man, Sight Boogie. Sight, uh, you picked Crunchberry. Yeah. Let's talk about this for a second. Yeah. Captain Crunch Crunchberry, yeah. why is this your favorite? I'm just a nap with sugar. Like, <laughs> like, I'm gonna have diabetes. I, whatever. It's good. It tastes good. So. I like it. I like it. I like it. Why not regular Captain Crunch? You just had to have, um, the, you had to have the berries. Yeah, I had to have the berries, man. Like, it's just, it's just more pizzazz and more. Like, you know, the regular um, Captain Crunch is dope, but it's just, like, I'll go through these in my crib. Like, I'll buy it the same day and just go, it'd just, be done. Like, milk and everything. I'm loving it. Love it. <laughs> Captain Crunch Berry. I'm loving it. I, I'm all about the Captain. Let's pop this open. Shoot, man. So we're talking about villains today, man. Yeah. Villains. What you, know, what you know about cartoon villains? You know, same things. Um, I was always more like a superhero kind of guy, but you know, like you said, the villains, you know, they need They need it. You know what I'm saying? Like bully, you know. Need, need, need. You need that. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. It is. But, um, I mean, who's, who's your, who's some of your favorite villains in your favorite villains of cartoon history? Mm, Shredder. Shredder! Yeah, he was the uh, who, I, who I recently found out, um, just about a, I don't know, a couple, well, maybe a year or so ago, me and my brother both found this out. We both didn't know this. Uh, Uncle Phil is the voice of Shredder. Yeah, I found that out too. That's crazy. I was like, my, 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 but then you start to think about it, Uncle Phil did a lot of great villain voices. Exactly. Exactly. In fact, all of our great black sitcom stars all have like their voices somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. Because Jaleel White did Sonic. Right. Yeah. Oh. And, no. and, and, and if you talk about great villains, you can't not talk about Eggman for that Sonic. Because I'm not a lot. The other Sonic renditions are just cool. I didn't get yeah, I I was I was hooked on the Jaleel White one. Like, yeah, I that Jaleel White one. That was dope. the best one ever. Yeah, the great old son of him. Actually, my the yeah. 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 great song and all that. Who did that? You know who did that? I forgot who got, uh, I, I, I think it was a black guy. Okay, okay. I hope, hope. See, see, black. see a little black history for you. We do a lot of cartoon movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is dope. Let's get some milk. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. 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 Okay. Yeah, he said, I will pour my own milk. Um, so, I got you. Yeah, thank you very yeah, much. So, on episode one, yeah, that's perfect. On episode one, I was talking about great teams. Yeah. Um, since we're talking about villains, I got a villain team that's going to take you back a little bit. Okay. Sinister Six. Oh, no. The Sinister Six, when they did that little run on Spider Man. On uh, Fox, the little animated Spider Man, which is probably the, the best Spider Man. Yeah, the best Spider Man. I mean, I no, no, no offense against Web Warriors and all that other stuff, but I'm talking about classic, you watching Peter Parker's life. Right, right, I'm forward. Um, They were screwing up his life, Doc Ock and all that. Doc yeah. Ock, he had Rhino on there, Electro, the old man that was Vulture, who had never really got Vulture. Mm -hmm. Like, he was old, and he had like the regeneration thing. Yeah. And he, <laughs> the vulture doesn't even do half the stuff. His name never, ever remotely fit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never thought that. Yeah, it's fine. Not like Juggernaut. Right, right. Because Juggernaut, like, Juggernaut is like Juggernaut. Brolic and like, it fucked you yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what I loved when they when they did the little, uh, the little skits with the voiceovers? He was like, I'm the Juggernaut, yeah. bitch. <laughs> Yeah, Charles, I'll beat you with Charles. <laughs> <laughs> I like your, I like your, I like your coat. It's kind of two fingertips, yeah. I like your jacket. 
definitely. I, I like Crunch Berry, so this ain't this ain't like episode one where I never tasted cereal. Yeah, it's, it's just stuff. I don't know. It's just it got that taste. Mm. And it's just like I don't, like I said, I, I run through this like quick, man. Like I, like I keep buying. Well, consider this yours, cause this is what we do. That's your cereal, man. I buy you sugar and everything. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. let's talk. Um, yeah. let's keep talking guns, cause okay. for me, the greatness of an actual show right. is all about the gun. Right. We're going to talk about another great show. Let's talk about X Men and Magneto. Oh yeah, that's that side. Bro. No, he's not his brother. They, they were friends. They were friends. Okay. Growing up. They grew up as friends. Uh, he, was, he wasn't really Eric as he turned out to be uh, Eric Winter, right, right. Or, which is his real name, but he was Magnus and. Damn, man. That was, yeah, like, X Men, like, just the whole, like, I just, I don't know, man. Like, that was just such a great That was a great show. series. I, 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 I would have to agree. That was a great series. X Men was a great series. Um, Probably one of my favorites. Uh, if you if you talk about great cartoons growing up, because they had a great theme song and everything. But Magneto made that series mm-hmm. because his dynamic with Professor X was always so crazy. Right. Like, that. It made the storyline interesting, and you know what they were trying to do and everything. It made it. Yeah. Do you do you take anything as as a hip hop artist? Mm-hmm. Do you take anything from any villains and put them into your hip hop? Is there any villains into your hip hop? Probably strategic wise, you know, because villains they do move strategically. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, right. they gotta have out the plan and how they're gonna capture you or yada yada yada. Well, I hope you don't tell everybody your plan like nah. how all villains do. Villains tell their plan yeah. all the time. That's one thing, yeah. You can't yeah, that. you can't you can't be snitching your plans and stuff like that. You gotta move the silence. Bad boy moves bad boy move the silence. Bad boys move the silence. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> Heads up to all villains. Stop selling your plans. Stop snitching, bro. Stop having this big, long, elaborate thing right before you kill somebody. Stop saying, oh, and how I'm going to kill you is put this melted gold <laughs> into the ball that will form into a bullet that will shoot you. <laughs> By the time you said that, I've already formulated how to end yeah, your how track. You, exactly. you know who was a good villain? Mm-hmm. I'm going to blow your mind. This one's going to throw you oh, all the way. Okay. You know who was a good villain? Oh. Megatron. Megatron yeah, was yeah. a good villain. Took back Megatron. I like Megatron. Yeah, you, yeah, you messed my head up. Megatron was a good villain. <laughs> yeah. You know what Megatron was a good villain? Because right, no. Megatron had terrible, he had terrible henchmen. Oh. <laughs> it's like Starscream was always yeah, right. like undercut him. Right. Like Starscream, Star- I want to be. Around my, around my brother. Oh, 
I mean, because he blames me for every action trigger that ever got broken now. Oh, okay. And I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. Yeah. I might have, I don't think I broke Skeletor though. I did take Skeletor's cape off. So he was just naked. I got a bunch of action figures that just got drawn. Oh, so you, you, was one, you, you broke action figures and stuff like that. Yeah, like so I had. Yeah, we couldn't yeah, yeah. have been. Yeah, man. I, 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 I like my toys in tag, man. All my yeah. action figures were wrestlers. They all okay. doubled as wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> like, my action figures would start out on their thing, whatever they were dealing with. Like, even the Ninja Turtles, I had them, like, wrestle. Um, I had a Macho Man toy and a Sting toy. Oh, and I had, like, God. the greatest WrestleMania ever. The Turtles. Versus Macho Man and Sting. That's a hell of a match. So, yeah, it was a great match. It was a great match. <laughs> Shoot, I had that shredder come in and hit him. Oh, with, up the top rope? Yeah, yeah, he came in and hit him with a chair. Oh, my God. And yeah. it was a disqualification. Yeah, wow. it was a great match. Good times. Yeah, good times. <laughs> good times. Speaking of, speaking of shredder, uh, 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 shredder was, was so funny to me. The thing I love about shredder was his dynamic with Crane. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like they were like a, a buddy comedy. Um, like it's like Evil Weapon or something. Yeah, right. Like, I hated those two. Yeah. Like, like it was like, oh my goodness. Shredder, give me a ball. And then he was like, shut up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, 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 what was your favorite series growing up? Was it Crunchberries or was it? Um, I, that's one of my favorite series, but um, Fruit Loops, right? Fruit Loops? Yeah, Fruit Loops. Got my Fruit Loops bowl. Shout out to Fruit Loops. And my spoon from Kiff. Yeah, my spoon from Kiff over there in Brooklyn. Yeah. Over there, down the block from uh, Barclays. Oh. Which, funny enough, down another block from Barclays yeah. is where we finally got to meet face to face. I played the Brooklyn Cavs. I was the Brooklyn Cavs. Yeah. Yeah, man. Those were my sponsors, you know. Rob, shout out to Rob. Yeah. Cool. Rob, I'm a good guy. Rob, Rob is an awesome guy. Yeah. Probably one of the best dudes I've ever met. Um, and a great graphic designer. Yeah, yeah, he's talented, man. He's a Pisces, so we, you know, we talk, you know, okay. Chase Club. Okay. You know. <laughs> we artistic, so we all right. Okay. Team Pisces. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he must be a Sag. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's get back to the villains. Oh, oh, I'm wearing a great. I'm wearing two great villains. That's. No, I don't want to look crazy on camera. You gonna look crazy on camera? Okay, okay. forget it. Then. Yeah. <laughs> it's not gonna get. Yeah, I ain't gonna get it. It's a Joker and Loki together. See, I wasn't gonna get it. Yeah. I, I'm not, I was gonna say Joker. Yeah. But I ain't gonna get it. It's obvious right there. But I ain't gonna. You know, yeah, right. Joker and Loki. That's some loot crate. Oh, yeah, no, Luke no, where is that? Loot Crate is, uh, actually Loot Crate is like the subscription thing. Nice, yeah, nice, nice. It's a subscription box that you get once a month. It's like getting a Christmas present every month. Yeah. And it's a different theme every month. And I got this in the villains theme. Nice, nice. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should sign up Loot Crate. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Loot Crate. I should, I, I should get something from that Loot Crate. Like something. Maybe, 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 my, maybe my own little subscription thing. You know, hey, sign up to Loot Crate and use amazing code and get some things on. We should do that, Loot Crate. We should talk. I love Loot Crate. Yeah. I know I said the regular Joker, I mean the cartoon Joker, but I always like the Jack Nicks. I think to me, I think that was the best Joker. I know that's a little talk. Well, 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 they're both really good Jokers. I like, I like Mark Hamill's Joker on. Oh, the best because yeah. because yeah. Mark Hamill. For all intents and purposes, it's Luke Skywalker. Right. For all intents and purposes. Right, 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 right. But if you never know that he is Joker, mm -hmm. you just know that that voice is iconic for Joker. Yeah, right. I mean, and he was good. He was you good. Know, good. I'm going to leave it for a later show, but I want to do a whole show about it. Though. Okay. But, but, but Batman's entire road list is great for good. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with that cartoon. Yeah, right. That cartoon has some great good. Series, yeah. uh, they just, I remember the movie they had. Uh, with the, uh, the, the, it was like a, it was they, had, they, had, they had a few. Yeah, it was one. It was like it was the. Oh, are you talking about the uh, Mr. Freeze one, or are you talking about the Phantom Ghost one? I think it's the Phantom Ghost one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mask of the Phantom. That was, yeah, yeah that's exactly. Uh, yeah, I had that on tape. I was gonna watch that. Oh my god. I remember, I see remember. how see how far we going back? We talking about tapes yeah. or DVD? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what's a tape? What's a tape? <laughs> he had it on Scotch tape. What is a tape? <laughs> What are you no, talking about? He just tip. He just 
got the Rwandan. What's VHS? Is that, is that a Venero? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, VHS stands for. What does VHS even stand for? I'm like, I'm I'm gonna, I don't know. We're gonna look that up. Yeah. <laughs> look that up. I don't make that scroll go here on VHS. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I was gonna say something stupid like Red Hair. Yeah, that's what I said. I'm not even gonna go. I'm, I know VHS. That's for me. Something. Hey. I love this school. <laughs> I can tell, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, so, what you, what's, what you up to? Oh, we'll begin to what you up to. We'll begin to what you up to. Got a couple commercials. We'll be right back. It's a monster mash to introduce the spookiest batch of chocolatey marshmallows in my Count Chocula cereal. Frankenstein! The mummy! The werewolf! And a special ghost appearance by... Casper! Now for a limited time, monster marshmallows! With me, Casper! Now in Count Chocula, a spooky part of the school breakfast. Just in time for Casper, a spirited beginning. Now available on video comes the shiniest Count Chocula box ever. But hurry before they disappear! Definitely. You don't mind you. Good, man. Yo, I, yo, I'm almost done with the. Yo, man, I really mess with Captain Crunchberry, man. I'm almost done. Yeah, I actually like it when it's soggy. Yeah, a lot of people don't. Oh, yeah, no, it's only the best. Soggy <laughs> is the best. Seriously, oh. Um, let's talk about. Let's talk about what I really want to talk about. Okay. Your music. Um, what's on deck, man? Besides book. Um, sometime in New York City, Volume Two, as as people know. Follow to sometime in your city about you one. Yes. Um, Which I finally got a chance to listen to oh, him really? before. Okay, so, cool. What you talking about? Really, really dope. Really oh. dope. I think it, he's definitely amazing. I will say that. Really dope music. Thank Let's you. get into what volume two is about. Okay, so um, volume one was more so like, you know, a service. I think with volume two, without getting too much of it, is more of a look into me and myself as a person. So it's like, my. Present, my past, my present, and where I intend to go as an artist. So it's a real deep look at me. So it's kind of a little. I, I mean, I talked about it like a little bit in the um, like when I was doing the press once with Subtime Music City back then. So it's a little more personal. It's like my core. So um, I think people will like it. Okay. Yeah. What can we expect? Uh, probably 2016. 2016. 2016 is the year for everything, man. I just like the number. It does sound it's good. Like I said number. that. Yeah. Someone looking like I was stupid, <laughs> but it sounds way better than 2015. That don't roll over the time. You know, 2015 was a good year for me. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I got engaged and all that stuff. But, but, but 2016? That sounds like, like hip hop. 16, a hot 16, and 2016. Be connected, man. Yeah. You can see. <sighs> Over Crunchberry. Oh, Crunchberry. Look, everybody, uh, <laughs> stay tuned for the very next episode of Saturday Morning Cartoons and Cereal. Now with hip hop, just like uh, most cereals, we we come with vitamin D. Yes, I'm gonna keep saying he will. If he will probably be saying vitamin D, then you have a sick mind. This is about the truth. <laughs> this be moving as vitamin D. <laughs> No, we're not high people. This is probably the part of the show. But definitely stay tuned for episode three. Episode three, we're going to talk about some cool stuff. Um, episode three, yeah. can't wait for that. But this is episode two. This is a fantastic episode. Absolutely. I'm glad, yo, I'm happy to be here. I'm glad you, you know, had me on. We got cartoons in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, uh, wait, um, Definitely come back for Lyricist Problems. Absolutely. 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 Absolut
Now, what is everyone in town talking about? Uh, your fish? I told you not to spit! Tonight I dine on turtle soup. Master Splinter! Climb on my back! Make my mama rich. Cartoons and cereal. I ain't felt this. Scrooge McDuck. Elementary hood shit.